right, so today we're going to work through uh, two chords in the key of D. I'm going to be out of the C form of the D chord. Um, and we're going to basically be going through the one chord and the four chord. So that's D, E, F, G chord. So I'm going to go from the D chord to the G chord. Super common progression you hear all the time. But a lot of people, what they do is they have a tendency to wander and not really like light up the, uh, the notes of the, the chord themselves. What I mean is they'll sound like this. So instead of like hitting chord tones that really give away the chords, so what we want to do is we want to hit all of the chord tones for each of these chords. So the first thing that I would have you do is just play through the arpeggios themselves for each of the chords. And now here's the G chord. So D chord. And uh, what you'll do then is record uh, from D to G and only chord tones for each of these. So only chord tones, and that's sort of get, to get the sound in your head. Okay, then the first day practice, I'm gonna let you pray, play out of uh, any of the, um, either the arpeggio, the pentatonic, the hexatonic, which is probably your best scale in the scale choice in that. That's uh, the real Allman Brothersy type of sound. And then just the straight major scale. You gotta be careful with the straight major scale because it has that note C sharp and that does not work well over that chord or unless you're playing Zeppelin. Um, so what we're gonna do on uh, on day one uh, is we're gonna go through and I'm gonna have you play notes, land on the note of the D chord on the E string. So we only have two notes on the E string that work for the D chord. We have the F sharp note and the A note. And for the G chord, we only have the G note. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna play then I'm gonna go to the downbeat of the G chord on that E string. Okay, so that's the key is if I did like a one, two, three, four, one, I've gotta be on the downbeat of the G that G note when I play the G chord. Then when I go back to the D chord on beat one, I either have to be on the A note or the F note. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. Then day two, you're going to do the exact same thing. You can play any notes you want out of uh, out of all of those scales, but we're going to be on the on the B string then. So you're going to have to land on the D note for the D chord, or the D note for the G chord. That's a really easy one, and this will sound very Allman Brothers. Uh, let me do that again. Again, you're going to try to hit that note for, for that uh, second day. Third day, you're going to try to hit the A note for the D chord and the B note for, uh, uh, for the B, uh, G chord. So. You can 
make them as simple or as complex as you want. So you can go as fast as you want, but the key is hitting those notes. And then day four, I'm gonna have you hit uh, the notes on the D string. It's either gonna be the D note or the F, uh, F sharp note for that D chord, or the G note or the D note for the, uh, for the G chord. So. Then the last day, you'll be able to do any note combinations at all, but you've got to land on one of those on the downbeat for uh, for the D chord, one of those on the downbeat for the G chord. Um, and again, you can do all combinations on that, but make sure that you land on a chord tone on the downbeat of one. And that'll be the lesson for the D chord to the G chord.